This month's video series is all about what to expect in the real estate market in 2021. With bidding wars and lack of inventory, many people are asking me if I think the market will crash. You know the saying, what goes up must come down. Are you thinking about buying or selling in Redondo Beach, California, 90277 or 90278? I understand how scary it must be wondering what to do. Hi everyone, I'm Leslie with Leslie Coons Real Estate brokered by Vista Sotheby's International Realty here in the South Bay. This is a very unpredictable time, but let's look at what happened back in 2006 when we had one of the biggest crashes in American history. According to the National Association of Realtors Chief Economist, Lawrence Yun, he says, and I quote, such a frenzy of activity reminiscent of 2006 raises questions about a bubble and the potential for a painful crash. The answer, there is no comparison. Back in 2006, dubious adjustable rate mortgages taxed many buyers' budgets. A major contributor to the housing crash back in 2006 was the fact that stated income loans were being given to buyers. Buyers were being qualified for loans that they simply could not afford, and in many cases, little paperwork was needed. Someone would simply state what they made, and that was considered enough to qualify for the loan. That is not what's happening right now. That just isn't the case. Lenders pretty much want your firstborn child in order to approve you for a loan. They go above and beyond in qualifying buyers for loans and making sure that they have the means to pay. Today, buyers are taking out 30-year fixed rate mortgages, which provides payment stability. Also, 14 years ago, there were 3.8 million homes listed for sale and home builders were putting up about 2 million new units. Now, inventory is only about 1.5 million homes and home builders are underproducing relative to historical averages. So the thing to take from Yun's quote was when he said, there is no comparison. Also, homes are appraising at exceedingly higher values from one week or one month to the next in 2006 had a significant impact on the crash, and that just is not happening anymore. There are stringent guidelines for appraisals and the amount a bank will lend for a home. That should give us some confidence with respect to the strength of the housing market and its sustainability. I think we all can take solace knowing that there were many factors that led to the crash of 2006 that we just do not see today. Reach out anytime, even if you've just got questions. I'm here to help. Leslie with Leslie Kuntz Real Estate, putting your family first.